And you're okay with being a grandma? There is nothing like a newborn baby. And they smell so good. <laughs> like, pure. Yeah, and then they scream their nut off all night. Not always, and not forever. <laughs> Was Wilder a good baby? They're all good. Just sometimes they're having a hard time. Sounds like you were a good mum. I tried. And don't forget um, hard copy photos, okay? Not just online, in case your hard drive goes bust. And you've got to frame them, you know, at least once a month. You're going to be a crazy granny. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Well, you and Cassie were her babies not far apart. Maybe you could come over sometime, have a chat. She would love that, you know, once things settle down. You want me to get rid of her? She brought me soup and veggie juice. She can stay then. Hey, what's the matter? I'm scared. That's your mama instinct kicking in. That's all. That fear is just love. <laughs> Every mum has it. Oh, great, Madonna. He's been asking for a priest. Uh, I'll see if I can find someone. It's all my fault. No, no, this was just an accident. We see this sort of thing every day. Extensive tissue damage. So what's the plan? Where's the hand? Uh, it's not here yet. Uh, Greg was saying before he passed out. Sorry, excuse chaos. me. This is my patient. Sorry. Like I was saying, uh, there was some confusion on site, but we've been in comms with the ambo service and the hands in transit. Wonderful. That's why I called you in. Reattachment surgery. You're the king. Uh, what's the condition of the hand? Uh, we're still trying to find that out. Okay, no decisions till the hand gets here. Okay, but I'll prove him for theatre. Thank you, Harper. Nicole. Yeah. Don't ever undermine me like that again. I was just trying to contribute you know, information. When I'm the lead doctor, I'm in charge. Yeah? So the patient's going to theatre now. You can move on. Thank you. What was that? Let's just focus, shall we? Have you seen Chris? Why aren't you resting? The side drink? Why aren't you resting? <laughs> I'm fine. She's being naughty. I'll get Harper to tell her off, shall I? She's good at that. Comes naturally. I, I can hear you, but I don't understand you. you. Just focus on your afternoon tea. What's this? I've been promoted head of fossils. Congratulations. Yes. Well, I'll save all that for the speeches. Well, I'm not coming unless there's Sally Lund. Oh, yes, it will. It'll be lots of fun. <laughs> right, the search for Chris continues. Honestly, I'm like a glorified Uber Eats. Mm. You OK? Uh just wrangling my mother, who's in denial about her new disability, and Maeve, she won't listen to me either. And Harper's not helping? Sorry about that. You know, she was under a whole lot of pressure. I mean, a severed hand. We don't see that every day. Don't you give her an excuse. She was rude and unprofessional. Don't you say anything. I will. I don't want you to get into trouble. We're actually OK at the moment. Really? Yeah. Great. Great, <laughs> that's fine. I'll take, I'll take all of that. Please tell me that hand is upstairs waiting for me. There's no hand in the surgical department. You're joking. Oh. Complete shame. Yeah, sorry, sorry, guys. I'll make some calls again. I'll do it. Nick, uh, you're allowed to speak to me as I am HOD, if that's OK with everybody. Marty says that Monique is chasing out the hand and it should be en route to ED. We'll keep an eye out then. Yes, yes, OK, you want to lecture me? Just, just get it out of the way. You've got your claws out for Nicole. Everyone can see that, but the question is, how do we get them back in, or at least file them down while you're at work. I know, I was unprofessional. Yeah. She was just doing her job very well. That's just knack. She's like that with patients all day, every day. I know. Hey. Look, I don't want to be like this. I just, I can't seem to shake it. What can I do to help make nothing, it Nothing, nothing. It's, it's me. I just, I, I need to get over myself. Well, you've got all the time in the world. No pressure from me. And I shouldn't be talking no. to you like this. not work. Thank you for bringing it up. I could be compromising patient safety and that's our number one priority, right? Yes. It's okay, Tash. I'm sure everything will be okay. She only wants you. Seriously? She doesn't trust any other doctor. No. Nope. Yes. Oh. Have you seen Chris? No, sorry. Honestly, life of Riley, that man. Hey, Tash. 
I don't want this baby to come out. Give me something to make it stay in there. Uh, the midwife just left. She doesn't think Tash is in labour. I agree. I don't think we're having a baby just yet. Then why do I feel like this? Where's the pain, Tash? Everywhere. You've got to do something. She can't stay like this all day. The baby will be in distress or whatever you guys call if it. If you could give us some privacy, please, Mr. Carlyle. It's up to Tash whether I stay or not. We won't be long. We'll give you an update soon, yeah. Lady He's not the father. He has no rights. He doesn't need any updates. Can you just... Okay, Tash. You want to tell me what's really going on? I'm not ready to have this baby. Well, you're not in labour. That'll be the gallstone pain most It's likely. not. That. Okay. Well, you know, whatever you tell us here is highly confidential. Top secret. Yeah, it's too late for that. What is... I'm all on my own and I don't know what to do. Where are you living, Tash? In a flat with five others and they don't give a stuff about me. Are you worried about paying rent? Well, we can get a social worker in here to help you with all that. <laughs> they won't be able to do anything. Well, for starters, I can give you a buggy and a cot. What? Oh, I thought you'd given that all away. Well, I wanted to give it to you. Why are you being nice to me? Well, you trust me, so I'm trusting you. It's a pretty big stash of stuff. Baby clothes, blankets, the works. It's really kind. This little one in here is going to have everything they need. Thank you, Dr. Walker. Of course.